Thank you. There's a lot of anger up on Capitol Hill tonight over what some lawmakers call a despicable, dishonest act. They say a state representative tried to get a resolution passed that honors Confederate General and former KKK leader Nathan Bedford Forrest, and he succeeded. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us tonight. Jason, how do lawmakers say this happened? Well, members of the Black Caucus say it started with the title of that resolution. They say that it said it was honoring a pastor, not Nathan Bedford Forrest. Gentlemen, this passage of the consent calendar property second. And Mr. Clerk, have any objections been filed? No doubt. The Tennessee legislature moves fast. Voting on the consent calendar. All members in favor vote aye when the bell rings. Those opposed vote no. But it was right here two weeks ago when some legislators say a vote went through so fast. Eyes 94, no nays, one present on voting. They didn't realize what they were voting on. Motion reconsider his table. Next order. The vote was on a group of bills, including House Resolution 97. The title? a resolution to recognize Pastor Shane E. Kastler. Resolutions like these are so common, the House usually groups several together so they can be approved all at once. But today... That was the most despicable, dishonest. To do something like that is really indescribable. Representative Johnny Shaw of Bolivar says he and other members of the Black Caucus were shocked to learn, buried in the resolution for Kastler, a biographer for Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest, were statements about Forrest himself, saying he was viewed by some as a Civil War hero, a military genius and cavalry leader, a leader in the earliest iteration of the Ku Klux Klan who eventually left the group and renounced its racist actions. This is a national embarrassment for me and some of my colleagues that we unwittingly voted to celebrate this individual, Nathan Bedford Forrest, also known as the Butcher Forest. On the House floor today, Representative Sparks of Smyrna, who introduced the resolution, said he was sorry. To my colleagues from the Black Caucus, if anybody's offended, I apologize to y'all. But Shaw says he's still not convinced. He says he thinks Sparks deliberately tried to get language about the Confederate general and KKK Grand Wizard passed without alerting members of the House. I think he has lost all credibility with many of us in the House because you just don't do that. We contacted Representative Sparks' office today, but we did not hear back. Representative Shaw says he will likely sign on to a new resolution that will rebut the one that they just passed. Reporting live in Nashville tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Jason, 